Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I wanted to talk about how the army is reacting toward the coronavirus, aka the COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've been busy, very busy dealing with this, and I want to let you know what's going on, so stick around. Alright, hey guys, what is up, and welcome to my channel. If you're new to High Five Face Productions, go ahead and subscribe, smash that bell for notifications, like it, dislike it, leave comments below, do what you want to do, just don't cough on my face. <laughs> However, anyway, um, if you are new to the channel, uh, I am an Army YouTuber, I've, you know, I've been in like 19 years, uh, military police, I used to be a quartermaster when I first came in, uh, four combat tours. Uh, been all over the world, all over, all over the U.S., you know, did it, done it, now it's a bumper sticker, and, uh, on my channel, I just like to share some of those experiences with you guys, and you can go on my channel, look at the previous videos I did before, um, I covered a lot of good topics, uh, Space Force coming up, the changes in the Army, a lot of motivational, informational stuff, uh, but it's for you, you can check it out. But for right now, let's talk about the number one trending thing going on uh, in the world. And it is the coronavirus, the COVID-19. And how is it, you know, how is the Army reacting to it? Um, I can't really speak about the other branches. Um, I can just tell you what what uh, measures the Army has taken. Uh, and so far, it's, you know, it's it's been a lot of restrictions, but it's, you know, it's for the good. Um uh, considering that the virus is already here, it's already in America, we're just, you know, we're trying to prevent it from spreading, and we don't, you know, uh, we don't want to get any more people uh, infected by this. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm trying to remember, and I'm trying to think back, and, you know, one point that I want to make is, even the Army, being the Army, and things change all the time. Right, it, you know, if you were in the army, you know what I'm talking about. Um, with this coronavirus happening and rapidly evolving and changing, every day, every day, there's something, there's new guidance coming out. Right, we're changing stuff. We're reacting toward uh, uh, the actual coronavirus, and it's just changes after changes after changes. Um, but let me tell you some of the stuff that we have been doing. And so far, um, you know, they've all been good moves. They've been uh, right choices. And, uh, you know, take it into your consideration uh, if, it, if it could work for you. But when the virus first broke out, the first thing that I remember that the Army did, and we are so good at it, we're number one. Um, this is the primary duty of, or this is the first duty of every soldier. It's the army janitor. What do we do? We cleaned everything. We sanitized. We wiped down surfaces. Disinfected. Bleach. Simple green. Everything. And and, and all the companies, the uh, workplaces, workstations, uh, you know, dining facilities, latrines. Everything got clean. Uh, because, and, and this happened like almost, this was like two weeks ago, two weeks ago, um, uh, that's when we first started to get the information of how it spreads, you know, people coughing on surfaces and, uh, you know, the, 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 the actual droplets could stay there for like 24 hours or something. So, uh, once we got that information, we were like, we need to clean everything and we need to make sure that the organizations have this stuff on hand, which is a pretty good idea. Um, you know, like for you, if you're working in the business or even at home, um, and if you haven't gotten a chance to sanitize everything, uh, it was a good idea. And, you know, so far we've really been following the guidance of the CDC, the commander in chief, um, you know, when they come out and talk and they give us briefs and they say, you know, Americans, we should do this, we should do that, take this into consideration. We've really been following their guidance. Um, mass gatherings, 
we don't even we we stop that we don't do it no more and the army is really big on mass gatherings we call them formations we call them formations um you know we don't really because of this whole virus we we don't really do them no more uh, and, and you know in some environments we can't help it because you know with the trainees and whatnot we have to muster them together to move them to one place to another uh, but you know we've really implemented that stuff like meetings we kind of we don't do meetings anymore briefings uh, stuff like that um, yeah and let me see what else oh just a second. Let me bring this up right quick, and I want to uh, kind of kind of clear this. So, a lot of stuff is changing, and it's March 16th, right? And I'm seeing stuff on the internet, and, and reporters are bringing this up, and they're talking about martial law, right? Uh, if you know, if the president, if he initiates martial law it is a, a big deal i can't even remember the last time we've ini we've initiated martial law um but so far right now we haven't done that uh, what i do think is i think people are getting confused i think that just because they're seeing national guard that are reacting toward their you know their own state emergencies and they're you know they're, they're setting up um humanitarian aid they're giving out food, they're giving out first aid kits, they're giving out medicine. Um, I, I think maybe they're seeing that and they're getting it confused with martial law. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. But the official martial law, no, uh, I haven't seen it. haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, and some of the other stuff that has happened, DOD, they've kind of put out a... Uh, Restriction notice about traveling um, domestically, like within the U.S. Um, we've gotten guidance like, hey, on, while you're on Fort Leonard Wood, you can only travel um, like this amount of miles. And I think today it was like 100 miles or something. Um, it's, it's not really that far. So stay local. That's what they're saying. Uh, don't drive to all these states with crazy infected numbers. Like there's no need to go there. Um, avoid malls, avoid shopping centers, places of mass gatherings like um, we started doing that. And uh, but you know, on post, it's the local restaurants they have made changes where they've taken out tables and chairs. Um, they've remained open, which is good. You know, people people are still cooking fast food, and you can come in and order the fast food. But since they've taken out all the chairs and tables, they don't want you staying there. You like you have to get it to go. Um, but it really hasn't been in, in central Missouri. It really hasn't been you know that bad. Like what I'm seeing in big, huge cities, like the the long lines at Costco or Walmart, and everybody just going crazy over toilet paper, like. I, um, I, I just don't get that. Uh, you know, it's not. That's not really happening here. Um, and you know, it's, it's. Uh, and uh, one thing that one thing that I do want to that I do want to bring up on the side is, you know. Don't even consider the coronavirus is going on. Consider some other kind of natural disaster, a tornado, hurricane, flood, right? You, I'm, I'm kind of somewhat of a, like a mild prepper. I have a bug out bag. I have extra, extra rations, extra water. Um, I, you know, a big tub of first aid kit, medicine, all kinds of stuff. And it's all stored away off to the side, right? Uh, just for those situations. Um, I, you know, I would recommend that don't wait until, you know, something happens like this and you're trying to scramble for, you know, all these items when you could, you slowly be building up, slowly off to the side, buying some of this stuff and then just set it aside. Um, but that's just that's just a side note. Uh, what other stuff is going on 
uh, with the army how else, how else are we reacting um, let me see oh one thing that really one thing that really affected us is since uh, DOD has canceled the domestic travel right uh, a lot of students aren't coming here to Fort Leonard Wood for training so we've we've had to cancel quite a few uh, classes because we just they're not showing up so uh, which is you know which is good we don't want somebody coming from an infected area and then now because we don't have any cases of coronavirus on Fort Leonard Wood or St. Roberts or in central central Missouri area uh, knock on wood um, we just don't have any yet so I'm trying to think what else I'm trying to think what else we've we've kind of been doing we we really haven't been doing any kind of crazy stuff um uh let me see some little some little minor stuff like we've kind of put it out to the force where um you know if you're gonna take leave ordinary leave you know you gotta have a really good reason and where are you going and <clears throat> One big thing that ties into that is if you're if you're coming from an infected area um, where, where the numbers are just crazy high, an example would be a soldier at PCS and you're coming from South Korea or um, you know coming from Japan over here. Um, what they're doing is they're going to the hospital to get screened for the for the coronavirus, and even if they don't have symptoms, they're self quarantined which means they're just going to stay at their house. Uh, and I think they're doing it for like a, for about two weeks. Self-quarantine. Um, and I think that's that's kind of pretty much it for now. Like, it, it, it hasn't really been really, really chaotic, like I said. Um, you know, there's still gas at the gas pumps. We still have food and supplies at our local grocery stores. Um, you know, we, uh, where I'm at, we've been very proactive and, you know, we're, we're kind of ready. We're, we're ready for, if it does happen, this is, we know what we're going to do, um, to kind of increase those measures. But anyway, uh, really quick video and it's Monday. It's a work day. It's late. I just wanted to share, uh, some of this information with you guys. And uh, if you are a service member stationed anywhere and you're going through some, you know, crazy restrictions, I would like to hear them below uh, because this stuff is going to like it's just going to continue to change, change, change um, as the days go on. So anyway, uh, it was good. Uh, it was good putting this info out. And before I go, I just want to boom. <laughs> sanitize so guys good night I'll see you later uh, peace Corona